Almost every year, UNM students have faced tuition increases. Now, with talks of cuts in state funding, there's already concern about what that will mean for students trying to pay for school next year. News 13's Lizay Mitri looked into it. Jessica, the legislative session ends in two days, and unlike what we've seen over the last few years, the budget lawmakers are looking at now includes a cut of several millions of dollars to funding for higher education. It's an investment in the future, but in the meantime, it doesn't make it any easier on students trying to figure out how to afford a college education. As a state university, um, it should be an affordable place to go to school. Um, I do have to take loans. It's really difficult unless you have like a scholarship and if you don't like you're gonna like suffer a little bit. Each year students at the University of New Mexico have to wait to see what tuition will cost next year. It's very concerning. From 2002 to now the cost of tuition for a fall semester has increased every year except one according to these rates from UNM's website. I don't know what to say. I think it's awful. This year, legislators are already talking about cutting $19.5 million in state funding for higher education. In a statement, UNM President Robert Frank says it will make for one of the most challenging years, with potential cuts far greater than previously expected. That's why student government president Jenna Hagengruber says she's watching what's happening in the roundhouse closely. Without a source of revenue, especially coming from the government, we are going to be struggling and we are going to have to make some tough decisions. The university president says while UNM won't be able to avoid every painful decision, it will keep students' best interests in mind, a sentiment Hagen Gruber echoed. The university has done everything, absolutely everything that they can. Um, the regents, the administrators, faculty, staff, um, what they can to keep tuition as cheap as possible. The Senate has already approved the budget with those cuts in education. Now the House is expected to vote on that tomorrow. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Lizé. Meanwhile, the legislature hasn't done anything this session to address concerns about the lottery scholarship. A bill that allows an alcohol tax to cover part of those scholarships is set to expire in the summer of next year.